The concrete cement down there is a bit caved. 15 feet down is a bit caved and later it's built seco, straight building, as far as about 3 feet high. With the bricks of that, burnt bricks. You also use um, lime. Then from there, you have to put a plastic pipe which goes inclined like this to the land surface from there. That pipe later is used to send in the dung, urine and water. Then you make a, something like a beam. <coughs> and uh, then it has come about one foot higher. It may be one foot or one and a half feet. You lay another pipe to the other direction. You lay it, uh, that <coughs> pipe later it is an outlet. That will, another one is an inlet. From there, the construction now, for the first time it is circle, straight building. From there, the construction comes now as if you are building a dome. It comes closer, closer, closer from 15 feet below. When it comes to the land surface, the size will be only this one. You have to make this cone-shaped lid. Simple. If you have got a bucket, you put a bucket there. Those buckets with the cleaning dog. You make your and later, if you want to make a, a lid from there, make you a mixture and pour that mixture to that bucket, put oil around, and later, when it, after seven days it's dry, you pour it, and then it will be your seed. With a, with a pour pipe in between. Put clay soil around. When you release this on the wet clay soil, the soil will be like your seed. You have to put water on top. If it is leaking later, you'll see bubbles coming. But this is just the construction work. Later, what is required is to fill the container with a mixture of dung, urine, and water. Now let's go here. Because this is not in use, but this one is in use. This is a same concept lid. The one which you see here with the pipe there. When you put clay soil around and you release, the clay soil will be like your seal. Come close here. Now, this is where we raise our cows. The kettle dung is collected from there, is brought to here. Kettle dung, urine comes through the drainage to here. So urine, dung, and water is mixed here. It goes down with the pipe, which I said it has gone about 12 feet down. This container, the 10 cubic meters container is filled with 3,000 liters of the mixture of dung, urine, and water. What is the ratio? The mixture is one urine. Dung is two. Four will be water. So it's one, two, and four. This mixture, 3,000 liters, seals or fills the 10 cubic meters container. Seal it. Connect the pipe to the bedroom, kitchen, wherever you want to send your gas. Leave it for two weeks. It's cooked by the heat down there, it ferments. As it ferments, it produces gas and automatically gas comes on top. The gas which has been produced is trying to get the room here. So the process will be that gas will be squeezing down the dam which is out of gas, so that gas can get the room here. But that gas, that dam which has been producing gas is weak. It's squeezed down. So that gas gets the room. The one which is squeezed is pushed out through the outlet pipe to the chamber. As much gas is being produced, the chamber later gets full. You know what makes smell is the gas is not the dam. This is just kettle down. This is what we use, kettle down. Come close here. You come from the cities, I know. No. This is, no. this is kettle down. Do you get bad smell? No. no. When we are there, we are getting some sort of a bad smell. But here you don't get because all of the gas has been stored there. Uh, okay. When I left this for two weeks, it fermented all. Later, it flooded for two days continuously. Mm. After two days, it stopped flowing. When it stops flowing, that is the sign which tells me that now there is a loss of gas which wants to be consumed. You release the valve for the first time goes, 
with high pressure shh, but the gas during the first hour it doesn't burn why because the proportion between the carbon dioxide and the oxygen during the first hour is not yet balanced as you try fill litting after an hour it starts burning mm -hmm. i did this in 1993 for the first three months you don't need to add anything what was down there is sufficient for the first three months three months have gone if you have got three to five cows it's sufficient for day and night as you add new one the old one is being pushed it's recycling later we send this manure to our field you get good vegetables good yield you feed the animal feed and good crops you get gas for cooking for lightning you don't destroy the forest cut wood for cooking and you don't have to dispose of the manure yeah and always it's recycling as you eat new one the old one is is recycling so it is friendly to the environment mm -hmm. How do you control the flow of the methane? Do you have some sort of tank that you can... The tank is down in? here. It's a container, sir. There is a valve here. Mm -hmm. When you release the valve, it's going there. You can control it here or inside there. I'll show okay. you there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it won't... Well, Why? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is just sealed yeah, with yeah. the clay. So mm -hmm. if it is leaking, you see bubbles coming. Mm -hmm. So if it, is, it, if it allows the gas coming, then it won't... Yeah. Won't and explode. that gas is not poison. This is natural. Mm -hmm. It's like um, people's gas. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and see. Let's go and see how does this.